In this video, we are going to be handling titration between triazo nitrate 5 acid and sodium triazo carbonate for the strengths. They say we should label this one D, then the D is containing 5 cm cube of the concentrated HNO3 per 1000 cm cube of solution, while the B is made by dissolving 3.5 grams per dm cube of the solution, that's 3.5 grams of sodium triazo carbonate 4. If these things are set, you know, the strength of the HNO3 depends on the percentage concentration of the one you have. If your own is 65%, the most common one we have is 5% concentration of HNO3 and then we have 70%. So the end point will vary depending on the strength of the uh, acid, that's the percentage concentration volume by volume. So what you need to do, I'm carrying out the first titration here, I advise an amazing way of uh, pipetting the base using the pipette. Uh, when you don't have money to buy the pipette bulb or pipette pump, you can uh, use this syringe. Remember, this is a Majesty's World. I sell, I supply all this, even reagents. So it's working well. See, the way it works, just uh, pull the, the piston, the syringe draws the water, then when you push it down, it expels. Push, pulling it up, siphons, then pushing it down, expels. Or dispenses to the level you want so do not all gastrin special one I advise so is available for sale now what you do next is you introduce and then add your indicator as usual and gradually titrate remember this is my rough titration like I told you the end point depends on the strength of the HNO3 in the sense that you have to know the percentage concentration, the SG of the HNO3 you have in the lab. So I'm showing you the initial for the first uh, for the rough titration. The initial is 0, 0.00 for accurate reading. Now you can also watch some of my video to learn how to know the specific gravity of the stock HNO3 in case your own is no more specified. Now if it is 65%, you are looking at endpoint from 22 to 20. 4 is okay cm cube when you use 25 cm cube portions of B but if it is 70% concentration of HNO3 your endpoints should range from 20 to 22 as the range remember they use the teachers report to mark the student so you make sure you teach your student how to do titration accurately so that they will not vary with more than 0 0.2 and that's what we call concordant titers you see how i'm doing it this is me, my rough the rough predicts the range of the end point i don't know where i'm heading to so i'm very careful looking at the titer mixture or the titration mixture not the burette amateurs will look at that burette that means you are forcing it to change this is the hardest titration the rough because i don't know where i'm heading to you see i'll be adding little little and shake when the color persists, I'm at the end point. You see now, this is the end point. So for clearer view, I have to bring another camera very close for you to see the end point for the rough titration. Rough titration from the camera point of view, we have 22.60. You look at the color orange at end point make sure it is not red red in the case you have added excess acid okay on a clearer closer view this is 22.60 remember our initial is 0, 0.00 cm cube please endeavor to subscribe and share this video likely questions will follow four likely questions and equally questions on the analysis of sodium triazo carbonate for I'm moving to my first titration. What you do, you wash everything clearly uh, with water. Remember, the before you even run your rough, you have to do what? You can wash the burette with the HNO3 and also the pipette. You can pipette complete 25 of the E and discard it. Okay? So I'm using pipette bulb now. They are all effective. Uh, this one is relatively more expensive, but that gas range is affordable. Is a method I advise for my student to use without having the chance of uh, uh, drinking the base while preparing. But sometimes it's joy of secondary school. When it enters your mouth, you spit and shout like you want to die. <laughs> okay? You add your indicator as usual, one or two drops, depending on the strength of the indicator. 
Remember the endpoint color can also be very pale pink for you to see the initial for the second titration. The initial still remains 0, 0.00 because I decided to refill back from 25.0 to 22.50 I refilled it back. So next we continue the second time the first titration is easy you see what i do here i just opened it because i have done the first titration which gave me 22 so why shaking the mixture when it's up to 10 i just opened it until it's 19 then i gradually start tracing the end point and there very soon i'll be there i'm very very close and that's it that's the end point we look at it from the closer camera for you to see let's see what we have in the first title okay i try zooming in okay this is 22.80 hi i'll just tell you that you can contact some majesty if you will for your laboratory equipment and reagents they are affordable and provide accurate results too Sir majesty's world only sells what he knows and his patterns of delivery are sure and certain Please today. Thanks for your patronage. 22.80. It is not verified, it is concordant. Uh, it's not very far from the rough. Then we do the third, uh, the second titration actually, and see what it will give us. Remember that following the rules will give you mark even when you are not getting the answers correct. Maybe the volume of a prepared use your need table significant figure three significant figure making subjects of the formula stating clearly well the units for each measurement so the third titration i did the same thing that's the second titration actually i just opened it is running down if you are looking at that titan mixture it looks as if it has neutralized but on shaking you see it is yellow it's not neutralized so i have to trace the endpoint gradually by adding drop wise and here we go that's the endpoint color change Remember, red is excess acid, so I got to bring the camera closer for we to see, for us to see the end point. Okay, you see there is no funnel. That's why I always show up. Funnel must be removed. So the second titration gave me 22.70. That's very concordant tighter values. No manipulations. Remember not to divulge the end point for your student because it will make them unserious. So see the first likely question. We have the second, the third the thoughts and then the question on uh, salt analysis please endeavor to subscribe and share my videos i cannot do without you much love from me to you thanks for watching see you the easy learning and teaching of chemistry in schools in universities secondary schools in research institutes so this majestic periodic table on the demand and special demand as you can see that space there highlighted that is where you can include the name of your school or if you are dedicating it to anybody you can write there wait a minute have you heard about the majestic table it was designed and recommended by some majesty himself Yes, yes. The amazing thing about the Majestic Periodic Table is that it provides a clear and colorful classification of elements from P block metals to metalloids to liquid metals. It also shows the boiling and melting points of all the elements. It also has the unique feeling of electrons in the shells of each element.